How's it going everyone? Today, I want to talk about one of my new absolute favourite pedals. And this favourite pedal is... Wait, the JHS Morning Glory. So why did I decide to buy the JHS Morning Glory? Um, you might wonder. Because I'm obviously not really the type of player who uses a lot of light gain to medium gain. Around 2020, I bought the JHS AT+. Plus. Now, this thing excels obviously at high gain. So, you know, it's based off the Angry Charlie, which was based off a JCM 800. This is Andy Timmons version. And as much as I love the JHS 80 plus, and you can see that I never sold it, it's really only for high gain. So I'm either going from a clean sound all the way to this. Um, there's no bridge in between, but I just needed something that wasn't clean to all out uh, distortion. I needed something that was kind of in the middle. So now I'm able to get three different overdrives, two from the Morning Glory, and then one for the all out rock, which will come from the AT+. So that was the idea. And so what I did was I got also the remote switch. Um, so you can plug the remote switch into the side of the JHS Morning Glory. So the remote gain. And basically you can now engage both the blue channel and the red channel. So the blue channel is for the very, very light gain. The red channel is for the medium gain. And then if I want anything more than that, then I just disengage this pedal entirely and I go with the JHS AT+. Let's hear what the JHS Morning Glory can do. Warning, I will be using this pedal in ways that I think sound good. I don't think the way I set this pedal is the way traditionalists, the fans of the original Marshall Blues Breaker, would be setting this pedal. But I'm giving you a forewarning those traditionalists that I am using it in the way that I please. I will be showing you all the different sounds you can get out of it by manipulating the tone control and the drive control, so don't you worry. Don't be upset if I don't use it the way it should be used. I'm not trying to create the blues breaker sound. I'm literally not even thinking about trying to emulate the amp. I'm just setting the dials to what I like and that's it. So as well as the PRS MT-15, I'm also using the Shure Reactive Load IR and I've set it to preset 3.2. First with the treble dial pulled out in the amp so that it gives break up to the clean sound. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how the Morning Glory sounds just on a clean sound on its own. So I'm going to actually push the treble dial back in on my PRS MT-15 so we just get the clean signal and nothing else. And everything else is going straight into my MacBook. There's no plugins on the channel strip. I'll also be showing you the high cut function. So I'm gonna be showing you some tones with the high cut switched on and the high cut switched off. I always switch the high cut motor on because I like a warmer tone just to tame the top end. And as I say, we're going to be tweaking the dials in real time so you can hear how they sound. So here's how the amp sounds without any effects whatsoever and without the Morning Glory engaged. So there's a slight break up in the sound uh, because the clean amp is set to a pushed clean. So there's a little bit of break up and we're tuned to drop D here so that I can keep strumming just a low sixth and fifth string and move the dials at the same time so you can accurately hear what happens to the sound from the Morning Glory as we move the tone dial and the drive dial between the two channels. If my voice is a little bit weird in this moment in the video, it's because I'm not connected to a microphone. <laughs> I'm just talking right at the camera. I've got the remote switch engaged. There we go. Let's see how it sounds. And let's see what it sounds like with the exact same settings when we switch it on to mid gain. So here's the low gain again. So I personally like both sounds. I use both the light gain and the mid gain and I just interchange between them. I'm really starting to enjoy using the light gain as a replacement for just using the pure clean from the amp because if you dig in really hard, it breaks up. But if you play lightly, then it just adds a little bit of compression. So right now I'm gonna show you how the Morning Glory stacks up with the Tube Screamer. First things first, I'm going to engage the mid gain on the pedal. I have this at this stage. Okay, 
Here's what it sounds like when I engage the Tube Screamer. Right, so, just as a reminder, this is what we started off with. So a huge difference there. Right, so let's go back to just focusing on the morning glory. This time, let's manipulate the tone and the drive so that you hear what it sounds like in all the different settings. I'm just going to play the open drop D power chord. Let's see what it sounds like on the low gain. And let me keep doing that as we move the tone control. And there we go, that's why I have the tone control where it is. I feel like there, um, it sounds natural, it doesn't get too harsh. And back to my favorite setting. Let's do the same now with the uh, mid gain. So just as a point of reference, this is my favorite tone with the mid gain too. Let's check out the drive. And there we have it, that's the pedal. I've also um, got the high cut engaged. Um, let's just out of interest hear what it sounds like with the high cut. Here's with the high cut off. Here's with it on. Let's try it with the low gain. So low gain with the high cuts off. And then low gain with the high cuts on. Now let's try the Morning Glory without the pushed circuits inside of the clean channel of the amp. So now I've disengaged the boost on the amp itself. So now it shouldn't be breaking up on the clean channel. It should just be a pure clean. I've kept all the EQ settings the same on the amp. Let's hear how the Morning Glory sounds now. Let's listen to my favorite sound with the Tube Screamer and the TC Electronic Spark without the boost this time on the amp. <laughs> and let's try moving the tone in the drive again on the JHS Morning Glory without the boost from the amp.
And there you have it, guys. Hopefully you feel like I've gone through enough with the JHS Morning Glory to get a good idea of what it does and how it responds to both break up on a clean channel on the amp and also just a clean channel on its own. Right guys, so hopefully you enjoyed listening to the JHS Morning Glory. It has quickly become my favorite go-to pedal. I think this is actually the best low to mid gain pedal that is out there. Um, I know I might be biased because I've bought it, um, but it's just great and it's so versatile the way it can stack up with other pedals. Right guys, so that is it on the JHS Morning Glory. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to subscribe, make sure to like, comment down below what your favorite sounds were with this pedal, and I'll see you in the next one. Robert Keeley, I hope you don't come around killing me because I'm using so much gain on the Modern Glory. Thank you for watching, see you in the next one.